everybody. Welcome to another edition of Do-It-Yourself Math. Today we are doing math in the great outdoors. Hayden and I are here at Wakona Falls and we're going to show you all different ways that you can do math when you're outside hiking. So what's your equation, Punks? Uh, take away three equals five. Excellent. You can see one quick and easy way to practice those math facts is writing them in the sand. You can write them, your child can write them, they can solve them. Hayden created a number line to go along with hers to help her solve them. You can also create equations by building them with objects you find. If you're a big kid, you might remember studying fractals during math tech class. Fractals of repetitive patterns in nature can be a great way to practice count bys and skip counting. Take an object that you find in nature and choose to either skip count by or do count bys of multiples of a number for as many different times as you see them. If you're ever thinking about how many there are of something out in nature, get out your papers, make some tally charts and graph what you find, big rocks versus littles, long sticks versus short sticks. Any type of object that you find in nature can become a tally chart and then a graph. Ever wonder where the math term factor trees comes from? Well, if you're wondering, take a look at tree roots. If you start at the top of the tree root, you can see how a number could be factored. Two numbers that can be multiplied together to make the number at the top, that number can then be broken down into pieces and so on and so forth. Use those tree roots that you find all around. Pick a large number at the top, start there, and factor it out as far as you can go. So remember guys, nature will afford you a ton of opportunities to practice your math. Just get out there, practice your skills, and remember the most important thing is to keep trying. We'll see you again soon for another edition of Do-It-Yourself Math. Bye!